Hi, Martin and Barbara. Um, I just learned about your uh, technology where you are able to treat uh, any water from sea water to contaminated water to a very good quality for drinking purpose. And you've been doing it in remote communities, in island communities, uh, particularly where they are able to have access to sea water. Now, my question is, um, uh, if there are inland communities who are not close to the sea, uh, would what type of technology would you use uh, for such type of uh, community and these communities may have access to contaminated water they may not be high on salt uh, but they are contaminated so would that be something they were able to use and use your technology can you please describe what would be their solution yes, um, I have to describe it in that case uh, to treat the contaminated water Mm -hmm. uh, with a low uh, level of salt, we would use the nanofiltration. Mm -hmm. Nanofiltration will uh, remove all the bacteria, viruses, and also pharmaceuticals or pesticides, herbicides to mm -hmm. a certain level. Okay. And um, so it's it's um, suitable in most of these cases. Right. And uh, what kind? Of, just to get an idea of the cost per um, thousand liters of water that it will end up costing by putting this technology. Can you give us an idea of the range? Yeah, it also depends on the situation, but normally it is between, let's say, 1.5 and 2 dollars per kiloliter. Right, Australian dollars. So Australian dollars, from 1.5 yeah. to 2 Australian dollars a kiloliter. Yes. Okay, great. And that's assuming it's operating eight hours a day and uh, 365 days a year yes. and over 10 years that yeah. of water yeah. that it has produced. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So thank you for that. And uh, also one last question is, um, you know, uh, what's the uh, most, uh, uh, you know, uh, what what is there something that really uh, sticks out for you when you have helped communities like this? Something, one thing that you feel very good about uh, using this technology yeah. for the communities? I want to tell you about a community in the east tip of Papua New Guinea mainland mm -hmm. with exactly this technology yes. of nanofiltration. They all Every year, they had mm -hmm. to shut down the, uh, to close the school right. because there was only green water in the well, okay. nothing to drink. Mm -hmm. So they had to send them home in their families. Right. Now the teachers told me mm -hmm. they are so happy to have the school now stays open all year round. Right. And not only that, so the children, the students have sufficient safe drinking water during the day. They have a higher attention, higher concentration, they are better in school. They attend to the school all day long and the teachers have enough water as well. And additionally, that's the main point, they stay healthy. Right. Nice. The teacher, the head teacher told me he had so much uh, illness and now and diseases and had to stay home. Now he is so happy to be healthy and sound and can teach all day long, Great. every day. Thank you. And most importantly, all your technologies are uh, supplied with renewable solar energy. So there is no additional yes. energy cost to run right. it. Right. Because these technologies are energy intensive, yeah. but you are using solar as yeah. part of the solution. And it's so um, important that the solar power mm. not only powers the mm. machine, they only can plug in their laptops, oh, their cell phones right. and charge it. So it can also because supply. Because it's remote, they have very seldom electricity nice. in this village. Okay. They couldn't charge their cell phone before. Now they, they are so happy that they can charge the cell phone and laptop and have lamps and lights. Yes, great. So it's not only solving a water problem, but it also yeah. partially solves their yeah. energy problem. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank Our you. pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.